guys, so it's um, Tuesday morning. Um, I've just got ready to go to London today. Um, I'm going to get my brows um, retouched up. That sounds strange. At, um, <coughs> excuse me, at um, Perfect Definition with L. So I'm excited for that. And also, I decided the hair dyes that I bought the other day, um, on Saturday, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna do some patch tests. So I did like strand tests, sorry, last night, and then cut the chunks out of my hair, and then I put it on this morning um, to try and get like rose gold. I don't know if you can, it's gone slightly rosy. It's not perfect, but I did. I diluted it. Um, sorry, I'm well out of focus. Then not even on the screen. I diluted it with conditioner. Um, I put like three, two thirds apricot, a third carnation pink, and then I put like a tiny little bit of um, dark tulip in to try and because um, my hair's never going to go past till it's too dark even the blonde's too dark so to try and darken it up and it's taken well in some parts like depends what light it's in excuse all my arm fat so yeah but I left it on for like half an hour this morning um, I think I'm going to do it again when I get back from London on on the Thursday after I get back from work um, and leave it on for a little bit longer see how it goes I really do actually quite like it because it looks quite pink in certain light but and it's still blondish up here so it kind of fades into like a rosy colour quite like it anyway we're off to London today yay uh, lots of press events and stuff tomorrow so I shall take you with me and I think this evening uh, we're off to a cocktail thing and then after that I think we're off to go see um, Effie from London Unicorn so that'll be fun I love Effie she's so funny um, so yes let's go to London this time and two shades darker so when they're healing they're gonna look practically black so I'm gonna be walking around with like black slugs on my face for two weeks. So we've just got to our room in the Hilton in Ealing and um, <clears throat> my brother used his honours points which are like frequent flyer miles. I was just getting the key. Um, 
So yeah, we get like a posh room and you get complimentary breakfast, get diamond Wi-Fi because YOLO. Um, you get like a little bottle of Merlot and some cookies and you got a cookie when you came in. Fancy bathroom. This is like, I want to live here. Look how fancy that is. What? It's so fancy. We might not go out tonight, we might just drink this Merlot and, and get drunk with our cookie and our whatever's in there. I don't know what the view's up to it. It's near a park, but oh, you get like a little park view. It's quite cute. It's very fancy. Hi, so we're in somewhere, Stratton Street. Um, we got out of the tube and within two minutes, we'd already made like two false starts and gone the wrong way. So just on our way now to the polo bar at the Westbury Hotel um, for cocktails and nibbles. And how brave am I, like full on vlogging in public. Say hello, Corinne. Um, I will show you our cocktails when we get there. And I didn't tell them we were veggie. Um, so now I'm like... Are you a vegetarian as well? Yeah, I'm a veggie now. I don't even know if it's two weeks. I am such a bad bear. Yeah, such a bad bear. So when I came to your house, your new house, because Corinne's just got a new house, were you going to like cook me meat? No. Oh, I was going to make you vegetarian. <laughs> right, so I will uh, check in when we get cocktails. I didn't fit in. Corinne didn't fit in. Hey, I did. <laughs> I'm posh. She reckons she's posh. And now we're like walking around, I think we're in Mayfair. And it's just like, we're on Savile Row now. It's just hella fancy and full of like tailors and stuff. So. Yes. And now we're just going past Abercrombie Kids because Every child should wear Abercrombie and Fitch. Hi guys, so it is Wednesday. I had to think about that then. Uh, we have just left the hotel. We were taking some outfit pictures, not of me, of Corinne, in Ealing Common. Now we are off to the tube station to get the Piccadilly line to Cock Fosters. Always laugh at that. Um, and we're off to some press events in London today, so I shall take you with us. And then later on, we're going to meet Vix from VixMeldrew.com to go um, alcohol or coffee or something. So, um, is it down here? So yes, it's such a pretty park and there's like a fair going on over there in the background somewhere. Um, we got a bit drunk last night, um, came out and went and got like two pizzas and a garlic bread. And then we were walking past this thing and we found the theatre for the Harry Potter, The Cursed Child. And like nearly pissed in our pants in excitement. Oh, that was about it. 
but can you see? Good picture. But I was surprised because it's like a whole theatre to it, so it's not just at like, say, the Alhambra. It's like a whole theatre dedicated to it. So, getting used to this vlogging on the streets like as well. It's not so scary in London because I know that I don't know anybody. So, right, off for the tube. Bye.
many bags, we're just like knackered. Um, so we're gonna head back to King's Cross, uh, go meet Vix, get a really nice, cold, tall beer, sit down, hopefully. I mean, look at all this. Got bags upon bags upon bags. The clerk room guy was just handing me all my stuff and he's like, are you moving house? And it really, really feels like it. Um, so we've got to try and check all these back up the road now. Um, we get, oh, we made our own gin. So um, there's gin party beauty. And oh, this one's the best one. Wait for this one. Ready? You ready? Count in. Gin car tree. Oh, it's so loud. Oh. Gin car tree. <laughs> So cute. So, Corinne made like a Christmassy spiced um, cinnamon kind of gin, and I made a lemon and orange with extra juniper berries to make it extra ginny. So, yeah, we're going to check all this back. A train's not till like 8 o'clock, so but I'm like so sweaty. Eyebrow update looking on point. They look so dark. I look like I've got a scouse brow at the minute. But we'll calm down. Right, I'm gonna go and sort my crap out. I'm not ready further for a good angle. Hi guys, so we've made it to King's Cross. Um, it's been a long day and as you can see, all my makeup is like sweated off and I've got like seven new spots. So attractive, my eyebrows are still looking hella dark. We've made it to King's Cross and Gemma has um, messaged me today, Gemma from Darkface, to let me know the shortlisted people for the Girl Gang, for the Bloggers Blog Awards, Girl Gang Community Spirit Award. It's a long ass day now, um, so I'm trying my hardest to keep that off Twitter and keep it secret. Um, we were going to go find a pub nearby, but um, that knackered we've just come to Prezzo in King's Cross Station and got the beer because beer. And we've also got train alcohol. What did you get? Wine. Corinne got wine, I got wine and Prosecco. Yes. I think we're going to stay here until the train or. I have no idea. But our train's not till 8 o'clock. It's now 6 o'clock and it's somewhat like £6.50 a pint in here. Expensive. Uh, right, I'm gonna go. I'm probably not checking now again till tomorrow because as soon as I get home I'm off to bed. Shower in bed. You should get a mental retrain with all that alcohol and yeah. then we'll definitely be checking. Yeah. Maybe we might go get really drunk on the train with our alcohol and then be like, yeah, let's go out in town with all our bags. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got some um, creme de something alcohol from our M&S bag. So yeah, look here, we might have that on the train as well. We've got a bottle each. Probably not, we'll be a bit sickly. But yes, it's probably the last check in now until tomorrow. Um, but we'll see you later. <laughs> Sunday morning um, i had been a terrible vlogger this week and after London I kind of like gave up and didn't blog at uh, vlog even um, but I have been exceptionally busy it's not that I've just been like a lazy cow um, I don't know if you know but I have a blog um, teapartybeauty.com and um, on there I do a blogger awards um, so yes, that's just opened this morning, so my phone has been going mental. Um, there were like 100 notifications, because it opened at 8am and I set my alarm to get up at um, half 7, but I didn't get to sleep till like 2 o'clock in the morning, so um, I was a bit late out of bed this morning. 
and the reason you can't see my face and I'm focusing on Percy playing is because I still haven't done anything. I've not even like brushed my hair yet. <laughs> um, yeah, I look pretty dire, let's just say. But Percy looks cute, so I thought I'd show you Percy instead. But yeah, I'm so happy that the awards have gone so like good so far and there hasn't been any moaning um, much. There hasn't been any like glitches, the site hasn't gone down. Because um, when I logged on at half past eight this morning and looked at my Google Analytics, there were like 25 people on the site, which to some might not seem a lot, but to me it's, it's a lot in one go. Um, and that seems to have been a steady stream since like eight, eight o'clock this morning. So within from eight till half past eight when I checked, I'd had 209 page views on that post. Um, so yes. If you're wanting to nominate some of your favorite bloggers and vloggers, because there's a vlogging category this year, then um, just go onto my Twitter for the link or um, it will be on a page on my blog, on my blog which is tpartybeauty.com. Shameless plug. Uh, yes, so today, I have to take a load of pictures for um, some blog posts and some freelance posts and then what else do I have to do? I was going to film as well but I can't be bothered to wash my hair so maybe not. I might film like something that I don't need to be in um, so that I don't have to like sort my life out. Also it's really difficult because after having my eyebrows done this week in London which you'll have seen my eyebrows have started to scab and flake off in certain places so I don't really want to be on camera with flaky eyebrows. Um, let me, hold on, let me see if I can show you. Uh, I might have to cut this part. So yes, I'm not sure if you can see because the lighting's pretty terrible in here as well. Let me try to focus. Focus, God damn it. It's not gonna do it, is it? Even though I'm pressing the focus button. So you can see like the fronts have like flaked off a little bit and stuff. Um, so yes. It's not really. I somehow managed to cut the camera off then and I have no idea how. But yeah, as you can see, my brows are a bit flaky. And that's probably not what freelance companies want on pictures or what YouTube wants to see is flaky brows so I probably won't film with my face today probably a good thing for you all um what else I think that's it I might go to my mum's for a little bit because she's just got back off holiday yesterday um so yeah I might do that I might just stay in bed all day and play with Percival little Percival what are you doing? He like gave me such a scare the other day when I brought him back. Um, so I went to pick him up on Thursday as he'd been staying with my auntie. And um, he didn't poo. So I went and picked him up at like after work. And generally, like too much information here, but he has a poo on a morning and he has a poo on a night. And because he's an indoor cat, I obviously can see when he poos because it's in his litter box. Um, but he didn't poo that night, he didn't poo that morning and I got home from work and fed him, he didn't poo then and he didn't poo till like 11 o'clock at night and I was getting, oh my god, he's like going to explode and his belly was like really swollen he was getting really worried um, yeah, I think he must have like a little bit of constipation because he's only been pooing once a day now and yeah, you poorly baby poorly boy but he's been playing fine and stuff, so I know he's not like, got like a blockage or an obstruction, so I think he just wants to give me a little scare. Want to scare mummy? Hey? <laughs> what are you doing? Also the other night, I caught him looking, I don't know if you can see, let me zoom in my messy desk there's like a little um, cat picture that I have on my wall um, and I was in bed the other night and he was just staring at it for like five minutes he was like so unimpressed with it like, why have you got pictures of other cats on the wall mum you doing 
so I think um, this will be my first and last checking of the day because I've got a lot to get done um, and my phone keeps like blowing up with notifications so I had like over a hundred this morning oh. <laughs> what did you do there did you flip into the camera so yeah um, I'm gonna get off go try get my stuff done sort my life out um, oh last night I actually started watching um, I always do this, say I'm going to leave and then flip onto something else. I started watching Z Nation last night and it's really, really good. Um, so I'm going to watch, I think I have three more of them left to watch. Um, so I'm going to watch them today as well. Because it's not a binge if you don't do it all within 24 hours. Is it Percival? Get off. Get off. Right guys, um, see you later, have a great week and I hope you've liked the bit of London footage today, it's been a lot of Christmassy stuff, um, which seems weird in July, um, but it was awesome to be like walking around listening to Christmas songs and, and stuff. I hope you've liked that, there's some really good stuff, I got to make my own gin, which is actually a kit that Marks and Spencers will be bringing out. Um, it looked like it was going to be priced at 20 quid and you got to make your own gin and infuse it with stuff, so... Yeah, I made a lemon balm, orange zest, and juniper gin. And I think that's all I put in it. I think. Oh, and I might have put some cranberries in as well. Some sweet cranberries or something. Um, yeah, so that should be ready in two weeks. Hey, I can drink my gin that I made. Right, I'm really going this time. Um, have a fab week. Um, yes, I have a great, ow, I have a really good week, um, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog with like a little bit of an adventure in London, um, and I'll leave all the links to everything down below, and that's it, give me a like and subscribe, more a subscribe, if I had to pick which one, I'd pick a subscribe over a like, <laughs> but um, do what you want, he's running away with my quilt with my blanket don't eat my blanket get back here <laughs> right guys um see you all later